verify the results text test test okay now you already mentioned this is the c sharp is a case sensitive only you're going to get this result capital t but you get the symbol t therefore your program design is zero program design or you know, write, write the code is wrong okay you won't actually get this text only text for example you know everywhere you use for the password it is the character or numbers everything you use it check for one by one character it check to one by one character there you have to give for the correct password that is a <coughs> error if you, you type instead of the capital letter won't type the first letter but you type the symbol that's it okay this is where the programmer earn their money okay therefore we call that say you are in the programmer you know if you will develop everything you have to consider everything for the user site this is a runtime error usually discovered by the user but correct by the program because the programmer know the program but user doesn't know the program but they want to <coughs> execute some tasks the user only they have to complete their task but the programmer program that program develop that program then the user discovered by user but correct by the program for example want to give some input okay you want to give for your <coughs> id card number okay previous we used for the nine digit and with the letters now is the additionally they add the four digit more four digit more then use if you enter that digit they cannot enter for the other four digit therefore they have some error runtime error okay but the it want to correct by the program then programmer want to rearrange or reset that number of digits okay some input as a data date date then if you type the text that's a error has come that's a runtime error because your program is okay running no problem up to expect for the input there are no any syntax error but if you give some input and execute some tasks or calculation then it's the wrong that's a runtime error the program terminate unexpectedly that's the access violation something like coming for that's a call that's a runtime error usually based on the logical error divide by zero okay any number cannot divide by zero then you have to consider that any number divide by zero that is infinity and if you make the program they have to consider you didn't consider that's a logical error come your program is terminate okay you should do something program we didn't expect them to do okay the so processing unexpected input such as the letter instead of the number okay you include that one in the instead of the number in the letters it's there that's a runtime error user need to document what they were doing when the error is occurred to help the program okay if error is comes then you have to give the feedback to the user okay you want to enter only number for this input text box input box only number don't enter the text that's like you have to give the feedback then you can avoid for this runtime error otherwise the user didn't know because we know the <coughs> data type everything but other user if you uh, you think about the public they not care about 
what is the data type something they didn't know therefore you have to think about that in the user side if you develop the program okay this is the runtime error now is the summary of that the first chapter okay software development life cycle and history compile process and category of the errors now study now we come for the second chapter okay the visual programming is a create the first c-sharp in visual studio.net solution that's the objectives explore the role of the developer what are the role for the developers roles and exam the step in create and serving the solution okay already you familiar but i want to explain again over the summer in new for this application software development software okay understand how to design the user interface okay that is also important how to design the user interface okay that's also want to consider set the property at the design time understand the label button and picture box control box okay. understand the purpose of the code editor okay why we use that code editor what is the purpose create an event and understand the program in error and assign statement now we come for the role of the author and developer as a programmer you used to explain tool called component okay you use the extreme tools called for the component lot of objects are there in the component the component include the control box in the toolbox okay you can found that is a in usually open that visual studio and create that new project you are in the <coughs> window forms view then in the right left hand side you can see the tool box there are some components are uh, included control objects are there okay we'll okay after that we can open that one pro project and i will show it that the tool box as a developer you use the component created by others okay already ready-made objects they are then particular some others are created that one okay as the developer you use the component created by other you are the developer you are not in the owner of that component in this chapter you will work in the role of the developer you are the software developer not in the developer, the creator the developer already create some components there you had to use then we call this the as a developer as author you create some co component and design for your use by developer then that is the order if you create some co component and use it that your program and others also can use that component then you are the author of that component okay this is the two roles are there the role of the author and developer but now we are usually we are the developer mostly already create the objects there then create we can do both now we want to create the new solution every program you create is called as a solution okay we call that a project solution file as the name of the project okay you add give the proper name then you can fuse in future you can easy to identify that project usually come project one project two project three like but want to give the proper name then you can easy to identify your program okay if you within one month you can remember but if you make okay in future we take three or four months you forget everything then you have to open by one by one and check it which program won't need then you have to give the proper name of your project each solution is create its own unique folder okay you cannot create the duplicate name same name 
each solution is create its own unique folder and name when you create the solution the visual studio.net create the solution folder it must not already exist automatically create the folder the solution folder contain other folder and all of the file to compromise that we call compressing as a solution if you want to run this solution in another computer you have to get the whole files in the other computer you want to copy to other computer all files okay to copy the solution to another compu computer copy the solution folder and okay sorry for the interrupt okay sir mm. now you can see this is the window new project you can said okay select the window and window application visual c sharp window application this is the window application form in this here is the name of the project or solution this is the location and you can create this is the way you can create the new project now is the design the user interface the principle of the good user interface okay that we call how to create a good design interface okay user interface how to design the good user interface the control the user should control the program not the other way to around okay user should control the program not go other way to other okay around user friendly then you can the familiar with the user easy to use your program that's what we call the user friend the interface should be help the user somebody starts and not call attention to itself then you have to create the user friendly for example you can see here this is the user friendly in the home tab what are the what are there okay the file tab usually file open serve serve as print something there you can see in the office document sorry word document that also file is there the same menus are there okay if you include the different menu or something is different then user confuse the each program each application this is the application program okay this is a application software the home okay for example the view it has a read print layout web some the view of that word document in you can see here in the view it is a different outline view is related to the powerpoint but there's a view we can see that's a some layouts are there that's a we call this a user friendly you say easy to understand your program and easy to use okay the home what are the things there okay if you open that our visual studio okay. start new project visual c plus the c sharp window window form application this is the name of the project okay our project is the first project like for set for something you can give now we call that in everywhere is app like for set for something okay this is the location usually if you install your program uh, this visual studio software it auto automatically create the one project folder it come for the administrator document under the c drive document visual studio 2012 project okay it come for the name as a project name the solution name is the first app okay okay now you can see this is a form in here also the menu is there okay there is the tab menu like tab pages like now is the file okay that's a ever it use into too many fonts and images okay usually is the here you can see the font type is same 
इसलिए मेनू से आ गया एम टेक्स फोन साइज ओके फोन सा नोट इन द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फोन यू कैन सी दैट्स लाइक यू एड यूज योर प्रोग्राम आल्सो वॉज ओके इंटीट्यूटनेस द इंटरफेस शुड बी फ्लो ए डायरेक्ट स्टाइल दैट इज प्रोसीड द लॉजिकल okay now you can see already i mentioned this is a toolbox okay in here also file is there in here is a new project the name is there now is a here new project open project but in here this also file also there new open that's why we are going to open the new document therefore new open serve serve as same thing here okay but here is the related for the this application this application software development so there is a new project open open file serve form serve form as a cs just like serve all all the program want to serve is edit undo cut paste something the view here we are using the two views code view and designer view code view and designer view is that it is related for the this <coughs> software okay in here is the view is there it is related to the powerpoint normal view outline view slides order view something like that then you want to consider that's a user friendly okay you want to avoid for the many font and image or images okay interface should be follow a direct style that procedure logic consistently user consider font and other element also okay you have to use that the okay design the clarity the visually element should be readable okay now you i see here i use that is a background is a white color and the text the font color is a black then you can easy to read this text you can easy to read this text therefore we use that is a column combination the user also easy to read your object or text that's a clarity the visually you had to give that one okay visual element should be fairly comprehensive feedback provide the immediate and clear feedback to the user okay already mentioned if you have some errors or something you had to give the feedback immediate feedback to the user to correct it that's a thing no nam kiyande okay advise the user of the error and provide the suggestion to correct it now is the graphic avoid unnecessary graphic that serve no useful purpose okay don't put the unnecessary thing okay graphic as a intuitive <coughs> metaphor such as the stop the sign input minimize the transaction for the keyboard to mouse okay always you have to reduce minimize the input you want to type input you want to interact the mouse interact the mouse that's a thing. now is the visual element of the control instant align the control instant vertically or horizontally okay you can input include the your form more control object button text everything then you had to align that control object vertical or horizontal okay distribute the control instant every so evenly about the form okay group the control instant together functionality okay you had to functionality you can group the events or the control object okay we will study later also but the control instance should be had the similar size 
Okay, there's some uh, similar size. Don't make the more size. Okay, similar size you can see. Be aware of the screen resolution and size also. Okay, you want to consider for the resolution of the screen. Otherwise, you want to you are you didn't set that resolution. The, your application sometimes unfit for the some other computer. Then they want to always use for the scroll bar or something every time in your program. In your application program. Therefore, you want to think about that. Minimize the user of the bright color. Okay, you want to use the bright color. You have to reduce that using bright color. Use the bright color only for some em emphasis. Okay, some on that. Okay, you can mute your mic because and that is disturb to others. Okay, provide the adequate contrast between the foreground and background color. Then user can easy to read your text or something. Okay, the similar object should be had a similar color. Don't use the multicolor or something, the similar object. Okay. For example, use the same text and background color for label. Okay, you use the many label, then you can use same background color and text also. Okay, yeah, you will saw here that uh, I mentioned that uh, similar type. If you open the calculator, open that calculator. You can see this is the button. Okay, number button. It also the same size. You can see here. Everything is same size. Properly arrange one, two, three, like. Okay. Because in you already you had a computer and laptop. You can see the right hand side that number button also there. Yeah? The same pattern they are using, same order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you want to consider if you mix up the user, where is the button is there? It's a five. Every time want to check it there. Okay, this the button is the same size. The alignment also there is a, you can vertically and horizontally you can align your button. Okay, they are using the color. Okay, or the mouse, change that the background color. It's active. Or now is the one upon X is the inactive. Method, they use a different color, but the same color. Okay. But in here is a equal, is a different color. But others are same color. That's like you want to consider in your program. In your program also, if you design. Okay, this is a small button. Size is different because this is the some other operation. Okay, in here we can click the mouse. There, if you want to, you can type using the keyboard also. Okay, these are the functions. Okay, for example, three point. I cancel everything. Okay, three point. Two, two. Again, I click the point. Okay, it is now inactive. This also you want to consider. Okay, you want to consider this is a small program for the develop the small calculator. Then you want to click. Okay, already you one time you click that point is there, decimal point is there. Don't type again. If you type is unmeaning of the number value, unmeaning of the number value. Okay, some places we are using the decimal point. If you go example in the IP address, it has a 255, 0 to 254 is the maximum. That's a three set of digits are there. Three set of digits as a, you use the dot. That's a decimal point. But in that arithmetic 
calculation only one time you can use again can't use i click here is not include the dot here okay this also you have already i mentioned that is a any number divide by zero cannot be invited divide by zero that's the feedback you had to give the student uh, user because user won't expect the results but they don't know someone didn't know if you divide any number by the zero we cannot get the results yeah right? no question okay cannot divide by zero then you have to give the immediate feedback to the user this is the good development uh, again 10 minutes you want to terminate the while i use that okay 30 30 right okay another time also you joined i will finish 10 30 okay i will finish 10 30 then we call this the good design interfaces okay it's a different scientific it's a different you can see they are categorized why they can use the button in the one line okay it's a different if you buy in a program okay this is a selection decimal octet okay some operation operators here special operator this is the usually in the standard calculator also add up add subtract multiply divide something is the same okay then you want to consider that also if you develop here okay these are also important now in this session this model we are studying only fundamental of the program the c sharp development not in the advanced okay anyway you have to follow something in the if you develop your software or the application you want to consider okay same size of the object button here is a button everything is a button then you now you can see here this is also they are using some same size not in the but this is also button they are using the object some graphic object like but this is a button if you click it shows the different view okay different view that's a button okay this clearly you can read the, that text okay we will study later also the tool tips okay see here if you go there is a shorten is the ruler but what is the ruler that uh, descriptions are there you can see the step set the tap stop something like that sir okay. this also you can give you a program also. okay for the input you can include this input here like this is the label if you point out that label what other thing you want to include then you can give the tool tips that's a feedback to the okay setting the property at the design time okay you can set the property use the property window to set the property for the form and the control instance create on the form then you can have the property okay that we call the properties that we put already you study in the database design ndt and attribute the attribute is the property you can set that value you only use the property window to set the property at the design time okay now you can see here in the calculator there is a size okay you can minimize and maximize okay then we can give 
is the normal if you open that normal size is this is the size of the window this is the size of the window okay this is the size of the button that's the property it has a height and width this is the height and this is the width here also this is the height of the form this is the width of the form then you can set that properties background color okay what are the button is you want to use maximize minimize some application not necessary to maximize only fix size will need for the form then you can inactivate this button that also it properties here okay then you can set that property in the at the design time or oh, and later also running time also okay you only use the property window and set the property at the design time the form property background color specify the form background color form border style icon title bar or what are the width and height size of the form these are the property of the window x and y define the position of the form or control instead now we can set the properties enter the select data or enter or select data in the value column value column operate the differently depend on the type of data so in the property okay for some property you edit the text or some time you want to give the values set the color use for the color color palette use the dialog box to set the property involve the font okay that is different i will show that for the properties such a border form border style select the predefined okay predefined value for the drop down list okay this is the property window they have the size of the window size height and width okay already we open this one here you can select this one then the property is here form properties there's a font you can click here you can get the dialog font dialog then now you can set that font and font size font style font style this are the, we call this a property already you familiar but i want to explain again also okay this is the background four color this is a text color okay you want to more color this is the some predefined color sadia but if you custom color palette, palette is here you can select the colors for the text color okay background color okay this is the text the form one this is the title okay i am going to create this use of this form as a calculator then you can type the calculate you can think about this is the text title name this is a calculator but here is the this is the form name it's an object name the form one is the object name okay not in the text name this is the title we call this a text calculator you can see here this is the calculator that's a title is there form title this is the text calculator then here also you can type this the now is a calculator you can add some buttons you want to need the same button you can copy and paste two way you can make the same thing now you can 
control C and control V, you can make many buttons. The same size. Because already we know that the calculator has the same size of the button. The number button has the same size. Then we need that one, then we I copy and paste. Okay. Again. Okay, if you use the control, press the control key, then you can get the same object again, okay? Not necessary to go there. It's a plus mark. Okay, if you press the escape key, it's the unselect that object. Oh, again, click. Pointer. Why like this? Okay, now, unselect. Now you can see the different size of the objects are there. Okay, then you can select all the object. You can track and select. Go to the format. Okay, make the same size. Okay, both. It comes for the same size of the object. All are same. Okay, you are feeling that uh, with this little more, then you can reduce or make the size. Okay, it's a uh, height or width. Okay, here, sorry. Decrease, make equal, increase the width. Okay. Okay, that's the way you can align your object. Okay, that's a format window, was a format menu. Then you can use and align your object okay now you are used there's a color background four color is a red color then now it's change here now you can see this button is a red color text is a red color okay what you need for the some other colors it change hola Change it. Now I only see that is a maximize and mean here. This is the icon is there. Okay, this is the icon. The properties is the icon. This is a maximize box and minimize box. Okay, you can see here is the this is the maximize. This is the minimize. Okay, then here is the two is the display. Active. I inactive this one. Inactive. Okay, if you run this program. Okay, then you cannot maximize this form or this application form. This is the fixed size. Okay, you can use for the minimize and close your application. Okay, that's the, under the icon, then is the minimize box and maximize box. Now it's a maximize box is false. The status is false. The default is the always true. If you run this, now you can maximize your, this is under then the form properties. If you click this button, button is a little different property there because there is no any icon or something you can see. There is a focus layout something is a little different properties are there. Okay, the property also depends for the control object 
Kai. Okay, set the name property. All the form and control instance have the name property. The name must be adhere the following rules. Okay, usually I use some rules as a following rule. First character must be a letter. Okay, you want to think about the first character. Is the must be a letter. Subsequent character contain the letter and number also. The one form name or the button name. Is the first letter is the character. It must be a character. The subsequent characters can contain the letters and numbers. Name must be less than 255 character low. Uh, then cannot contain special character other than the underscore. Only you can use an underscore. For example, you are using one text box as a first name. Then you can use the first underscore name. You cannot use other characters, special character, add sign or add sign, ambassador, something you cannot use. Only underscore you can use. And first character must be a letter. Okay, these are the things you want to consider for if you give the name of the proper name of the control instance. Okay, the name cannot contain the space because object is the one word. We call that's a one word variable or anything. Mostly that's a one word. Don't use any space. If you use a space, it consider the computer consider the two words like. Therefore, we are using both underscore. If you connect the two words for one object name, then you use the underscore. Then contain space. You cannot contain the space. Name must be a unique. You cannot create the duplicate. Okay. Now, other one is a naming convention. Using the meaningful name improve your code readability. <clears throat> okay, the computer doesn't care about your name, but the, you are the developer. The other developer is to understand your code. Therefore, you using the meaningful name to improve code readability. Okay, meaningful name helps you to develop. The, Okay, Visual Basic or C Sharp does not care about the Visual Studio, not care about the this meaning of the name prefix. Now we are using some prefix for the object. This chapter also we use some prefix for the object form. In your application has a more form. For example, you have the eight form for your application. Then we are using for the FRM. It's the form object prefix. Start with the FRM and after you can give a specific name. So you are develop some <coughs> inventory control or some application. Sales, invoice, some invoice, order. Then we can use for the you use the many forms. Sales is the one form. Invoice is the other forms. Order is another form like. Then you can use for the FRM sales, FRM invoice, FRM order. That's like you can each to identify the, this is the form object. Button, we use a BTN. Okay, now you can see that calculator. Many buttons are there. If you put there, already you know there's a button one, button two, that name of the object was a button one, button two, like. But here, how many buttons are used? You cannot memorize the, this button, what is the button like? Then we can give a meaningful name. Is the BTN one or BTN number one, BTN number two. This is the BTN add. This, you, this button going to talk for the addition of the number. This is the BTN subtract, BTN multiply, BTN divide, division, 
then other developer easy to understand okay this object is going to divide that if you click this button if you going to divide that then you can easily identify the object also otherwise you use the button one button two button three like every time you want to think about this button or if you click this button is press the button type the server again press again combine the two text as a 77 77 okay if you click this button and multiply then equal then you can get the results then easy to you can use that the button then we use the many buttons that are there then we can easily identify which objects are there then we use the naming convention as a button as a btn at btn subtract btn1 btn2 btn3 if you click this button it's type the three but number number three label lbl you want to display some text therefore we use the name okay then we use the lbl label you want to display some text in the your application then we use the file label then you can use lbl first name lbl you want to display the your address first name last name your title Mr. O, Mrs. O, Miss O, Master, something like. Then we are using LBL title, LBL first name, LBL, LBL last name, LBL address. Then you can easily identify. Otherwise, you always you go there. This button uh, label five going to put the display the label as an address. Again, you come to the code and type something. Okay, display the address. But if you put that LBL, any other developer also is to understand, okay, this is the label. We are going to display something, okay, LBL address, then we are going to display the address in the particular label. Okay, if you button BTN button, okay, this button executes something like the BTN calculate, then if you want to calculate something. BTN results, we want to press the equal thing, we can get the results. Then this is the way we use the first, okay, three letters. First three letters, if you objects are there, we use the prefix. We call this a prefix. If you use that as a naming convention, that other devil is to identify the object. Because now is here, how many button? Now is the 9, 12 button. Again, 4, 16. Again, here is the 24 buttons are there then we want to give the name easy to identify otherwise if you give the button one button two button three is the object like very difficult to identify which button going to do some there what is the task because you already think about okay if you want to click this button uh, multiply but already you know that if you click this button multiply then you have to give the proper name btn multiply okay the naming convention also important for in your program okay easy to understand your program for others also if you have some problem also something like easy to understand correct it is easy to understand for the other developer also Therefore, we are using the naming convention. Okay, I am going to stop now. Uh, the Friday, all the same IP address and password is a database system. It's a 9.30. Time is, I will send the mail also. It's a 9.30 to 11.30. Okay, student, so we continue for next week okay thank you for participating for this my lectures